Hi, moms and dads. I'm Karen Quinn, the Testing Mom, and the author of Testing for Kindergarten. Today, I want to tell you about Kindergarten in a Box sets one and two, which are wonderful for younger children who are building up their kindergarten readiness skills. Each box set comes with four sets of flashcards that cover a critical skill needed for kindergarten readiness and testing if your child will eventually be taking a gifted test. Set one has math, thinking and problem solving, working memory, and following directions cards. Our math cards cover an early math curriculum, concepts such as counting, math symbols, equations, matching, sequencing, and patterning. Kids enjoy them because they're challenging and they make math fun. The thinking and problem solving cards in the set cover both visual and verbal thinking challenges. We have cards with questions that make kids think, inference challenges, problems to solve, sequencing, patterning, classifying activities, logical inference questions, verbal reasoning, and argument exercises. There's creative thinking and even mazes and brain teasers. Kids really enjoy these cards as they make them think in new and different ways. Our working memory cards are both visual and verbal. These happen to be the most game-like of all the cards in the set. Kids love these cards in particular. They're very challenging. Here's a card where the child studies the pictures on side one, then you turn it over and the child is asked to tell you what pictures were added. It builds visual working memory. Here's a working memory verbal game that really helps children focus and remember. You say a series of words and the child has to tell you which words are not animals or which words are not yellow. In this game, the child studies which space babies are in which flying saucers. Then they turn the card over and put the right space baby into the flying saucer they were just in. There are many more games with this set of cards. Parents and kids both love them because you can take them with you when you're out and about and you've got games in your pocket you can play with your child to keep them busy without giving them a phone or a tablet. With set two, we have flashcards for verbal concepts, spatial concepts, general knowledge, and social and emotional learning. Now, I don't have time to cover all the cards in this set, but let me tell you about a few of them. The goal of the social emotional learning cards is to help your child build language and understanding around the way they feel. We introduce them to a variety of characters who are expressing different feelings and we give them different vocabulary for various emotions. There are cards that go over things children can do to help them feel better when something upsets them. And there are many scenarios that describe a situation where a child might feel uncomfortable or may not know how to handle themselves. On the back of these cards is a discussion guide you can follow to help you have a conversation with your child about what he or she might do in a similar situation. Our general knowledge cards were originally developed for children who would be tested for gifted programs or kindergarten readiness assessments. They cover all the information children are expected to have been exposed to by the time they start school. This includes topics like letters, numbers, shapes, colors, sizes, manners, senses, tools, fruits, vegetables, opposites, transportation, cities, sports, outer space, and just so much more. The cards are filled with vocabulary words that you want your child to have learned by the time they start school. There are over a thousand vocabulary words and concepts on these cards. Another benefit of these general knowledge cards is that they show things in groups that go together. This is important because being able to sort things into groups where they belong and to then classify the category they belong to is essential to critical thinking skills. Set two also has cards that teach children to reason and solve problems using pictures, images, shapes, and tables. Kids need spatial and nonverbal skills to be successful at math, geography, and science. But these cards feel like puzzles to kids, so they really, really enjoy doing them. And finally, there are the verbal cards as well. They cover all the vocabulary words that kids are expected to understand by the time they start kindergarten, 
and words that they need to know for kindergarten gifted testing. The cards are colorful and sturdy. They're great to take with you on a trip or to just put in your purse when you're out running errands and you don't want your child playing with your phone or tablet. So I hope that your child or grandchild really enjoys using them with you.